are you? Gaston? Gaston? You in there? We've done did this.
Harriet. Oh, um, I see you caught us. Where are you going? Can't you see? We're leaving. We're getting the hell out of here. But I thought you needed a job and a place to stay. Well, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, now that you're here, I saw your hubby last night. And, well, he threatened my boy and me. Said that uh, if me and Cyrus didn't leave, we'd be hanging from the rafters. And I believed him. I saw the look in his eyes. There's something real bad around here. And I can't explain it, but it exists. What exists? Evil. And if you had any sense, young lady, you'd leave too. Yes? What do you want? Well? Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Karnavash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Just a minute. Malcolm will see you now. She is here, Malcolm. Sit. I remember. Hmm? What was it? This picture. I was just a young nipper. And Carno was my hero. Then. Your hero? Yeah. I know what you saw in this picture. Saw? Yeah. The evil. It's back. And my husband? <laughs> it meant me too late for him. What? Yeah, the lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. Arno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But all that changed when he got the book. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed a demon. An entity so evil it had no name, no worldly description. This 
thing came to possess Kano, body and soul. Kano became like it. He became very powerful, and his his fame and and, and his wealth increased. But he was cursed. He had loved his wife Hortensia and their baby daughter, but all that changed. He became abusive. I, I don't have proof, but I believe he killed them both. I believe he killed all his wives. But Malcolm, what happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prop man, Gaston Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. He had a new act, an amazing feat of escape. But Marie rigged the machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. It almost did. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. But then, one night, he awoke, swearing revenge. I saw Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into his theater. There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, leaving him for dead. Then it was Marie's turn. Totally crazed, nothing but pure revenge on his mind, Carno started up that god awful machine, that awful contraption. And before my very eyes, I'm sorry that he died. I'll never forget the look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Poor Gaston was dying. This was his final heroic act. To my horror, I then saw a demon. That's all I know to call it. Leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. My only thought was running away, but I, I hesitated when, when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. I rushed back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carno carrying the chest which held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I picked up the chest containing that orange book, and I assume the demon itself, and carried it into the chapel. <laughs> 